every time. She tired of this lake really tired of it already we're getting ready to fish next week the mlf bfl fl whatever it's called whatever the mlf whatever bfl is what it is on lake lanier and uh this is the last official play around kind of practice where we're gonna fish and try to figure some more things out because to be honest with you i don't have much going for me i think i got enough where i could definitely get a check but when it comes to winning gonna be slim it's gonna be hectic it's gonna be hectic yeah we're gonna vlog the tournament at lanier we're gonna do then we got oconee after that well we got lanier harris chain on the bassmaster open uh oconee and i don't even know what's after that because i ain't looking at the rest but we got them and we're just going on from there but yeah, we're getting some gas here um and we got a ride up to atlanta or i think i'm gonna stop at hammond's I've never been to Hammond. Some of you may have been to Hammond's. I've never been to Hammond, so we're that's gonna be new. We're gonna see what it looks like. Gonna probably get some tackle and stuff. So see how it is, and hopefully we can figure something out, something out today, something pretty special. So let's get to it and get on the road and see what happens. Definitely want some of this whenever you're whenever you're filling up your outboard. Get out here. Just whenever you're filling up your outboard, put you some star tron. Yes, sir, enzyme treatment. We're almost there. You can even see it. All right, we're on. Yep. Take the last drop because we broke. I smell like a stinky. I smell like a damn skunk. Down the hatch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Six dollars. Sweet. All right, let's get this bad joker on the freaking highway. So, just got out here, got the boat in the water. Running solo today, I'm by myself, so it is freezing cold and this little thing ain't working worth a crap. But, we're about to get going and get to the first spot and see what we can catch, so stay tuned. Good night, that thing right there is bright. All right, boys, let's get it. So just going to put it this way. This shit is, this is like one of the toughest days I have fished out here in practice. I have caught three and i kept my biggest so far um it's crazy i it's, it's like freezing cold it just started hailing the sun doesn't want to come out and i'm not getting nowhere as many bites as i have in all my other practices but 
you know, we had a warm week all week, and then all of a sudden we get hit with a cold front, so. Go figure something out. Oh, that's a good one. If I can get her to come up and get a look at her. Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. caught like a bunch of fish back here in practice and I just don't want anyone knowing you know yes sir yes sir and they're stacked up in here too for sure Gosh, that's a really good one. O M G. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I pulled that net out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have six pound line. Every time she look at her, every time she sees me and sees the boat, she just keeps running. Life water, come on, get Oh my gosh. Look at that son. Holy cow, oh my gosh. I have ever caught out of here. Holy cow, that's so much. Oh my gosh, she's probably about, probably about four. 
How can she be though bigger than that? But dude, she is massive. That's two good ones. Put her on the big side. Okay, guys. So craziness, but um, yeah, I think I'm about to head out. Uh, um, it's, about, it's supposed to rain here in a few minutes, and I don't want to get caught in this rain, especially as cold as it is. And I'm pretty hungry, so we're gonna go probably get us some Wendy's. Um, I'm gonna go meet up with B Rad and uh, weigh these fish and just see what the big one i just always i think i'm gonna throw the other one back and just take a picture of this big one and uh weigh it see what it weighs um, i'm gonna guess somewhere around four and a half pounds maybe not even four pounds i don't know i judge these big spots totally wrong i'll think it's a five and it's a three so yeah we're gonna take it and uh i'm gonna take and go weigh it because he's got the scales at, uh and crazy so like the biggest thing about today is i only caught maybe maybe three and you know one of them wasn't a keeper and then i had that one and then i just caught the one i just caught so barely ticking it i mean it's just like they are picky today and cold as crap so we're about to load up and run down to bayless and uh get this thing on the trailer and weigh this fish so let's get to it Holy I, mother of hell. I didn't put a tag on it. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, a spot. Yeah. I don't know how much she's gonna weigh, probably four or something. What is it? Four six. Four six, yeah. Four and a half pound spot, dude. Yeah, that's what I figured it probably was. Please come tournament time. I bet you look down and say, holy shit, out of fish. Oh, yeah. You gonna pull it? Hey, emergency brakes on, by the way, though. Oh, okay. Alright guys, so I am not on the lake or on the boat. I am in the parking lot, got some Wendy's, and about to munch on this before I head home. Got a freaking crazy ride to the house. I hate going through Atlanta, and I hate Atlanta traffic, but that's what we gotta go through to get back to the house. And when I get home, I'm probably gonna pass out of sleep and then wake up and edit this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, letting you guys know we got some awesome review videos coming out here soon and we also got some uh tip videos i'm gonna start doing and next weekend we'll be back up here at lanier for the final day of practice or well, final weekend of practice for lanier we're gonna do it two days and uh man i am sick of catching spotted bass and i am sick of using a spinning rod and i am sick of this cold deep clear water it is getting overrated. I'm ready for it to be hot and summer or spring, throwing a pawpaw and throwing a frog and flipping. Like, that's my juice, and I am so ready for it. Let's 
see what we got right here. Did they forget my nuggets? Because I'll go in there and slap every one of them they forgot my nuggets. But they didn't. They put the sriracha in there too, son. Oh, man. That's crack for me. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, smash that like button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.